I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Charlotte Putvin. And I'm Layla Plummer. I know you all miss me so much. We sure did, Layla. Today we'll tell you about tomorrow's Down Syndrome Awareness Day. We'll also show you what we made for the Student Television Network competition. All that and so much more because GTV News starts right now. Here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, March 20th. Tomorrow is World Down Syndrome Awareness Day, so make sure to wear some funky or mismatched socks to show your support and spread awareness. Skaldic is meeting today after school in room B156. Get your tickets for this year's musical, Mamma Mia. Please note the dates. Perform the dates. Performances are at 7 p.m. April 18th through April 20th. Check your GHS news email to buy your tickets. The sky was the limit at the Student Television Network competition last weekend, and GTV went above and beyond. The prompt was, what's old is new again, and the oldest tattoo shop in Long Beach, Outer Limits Tattoo, was the perfect find. GTV's Sophie Peruba and I worked together to make a story that explains the history of the Outer Limits Tattoo Parlor. Chalk uh, was part of the original The Pike. So there are a lot of like remnants of the artists that used to work here and whatnot. There's a lot of history here throughout the whole building. It used to be kind of a spot where sailors would come in, get tattooed, go off on their next journey, but it's been the most continuous running shop in America. Really like honoring to be even asked to work here because um, I know how many actual great tattoo artists, like grandfathers of our tattoo history worked here and now I get to be a part of it. Um, and the community now, the tattoo community, is, is great. There's all walks of life. Anybody that wants one ends up walking in and thankfully we do create like a friendly environment for just anyone to walk in and just kind of experience uh, what it is to have a tattoo. So we did that story in just a couple hours. We got the prompt at 11 a.m. and we're done with it by 4 p.m. Great job, guys. I have to give most of the credit to Sophie Peru, but though she got us through everything, she edited it all on her own, and I couldn't have done it without her. Looking at the weather today, we have a high of 39 degrees and a low of 26. And tomorrow, it's going to be cloudy all day with a high of 41 degrees and a low of 22. Here's three, three to know before we go. Before spring break, make sure to stop by the Lost and Found. All items left will be donated. During PLC this week, there is a Books and Breakfast Before Break event in the community room to showcase new books. This is open to all students and staff. If you have give hours, turn your sheet into the main office no later than April 19th. That's all the news I have for you today, Geneva. Have a wonderful Wednesday.